What's going on everybody? Welcome to Preston Bills where we have the new March 2024 Lego Ninjago sets for review. We were sent these early by Lego so a huge thank you to the Lego group for that but all opinions given in the review are our own. If you could like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, it would really help out the channel a lot. We'd really appreciate it. We're trying to get to our next goal of 5,000 subscribers and we really appreciate your help to do that. And with that now all being said, let's take a look at the sets. So starting off, we have set number 71810, Young Dragon Ryu. It's 132 pieces and comes with three minifigures. All of the sets in this review will be releasing on March the 1st, with this set reading for £12.99 in the UK and $15.99 in the US. The set is a brick-built version of Ryu the Dragon from the Ninjago series, and I think it's a really great little set. There are a lot of ball joints allowing good movement to the legs, the tail, even the head, making it possible to get into some really cool poses, great for playing with or even displaying. There's space on the dragon for two minifigures to sit, which is good. And speaking of minifigures, the ones that come in this set are Erin, Sora, they are the two main characters from the show, and also a wolf mask warrior who is a baddie. So I'm really pleasantly surprised with this set. It's a fun little build that looks great and also comes with three really good minifigures for such a great price. So yeah, really happy with this set. Next is set number 71811, Erin's Ninja Off-Road Buggy Car. It's 267 pieces and comes with four minifigures as well as a little baby Ryu Dragon figure. The set will retail for $44.99 in the UK and $49.99 in the US, which does seem quite high for this set. While the set is a good size, thanks to the large chunky wheels and comes with a good amount of minifigures, I'm struggling to see the reason for such a high price. Despite that, let's take a look at the set, which I think is a really good looking Ninjago car. So like I said, it's got these big chunky off-road wheels, which you'd typically find on an off-road buggy. I really like the colour combination. Obviously, you've got the bright light orange, which goes with Erin's colours. And then you've added this dark blue, which goes really well. In the cockpit of the vehicle, there is actually space for two minifigures to sit. And they do fit in there really well, too. It doesn't look too tight. If you put the visor down, that looks really cool with them sitting in there. Inside the cockpit, too, we have a steering wheel and also a dashboard that's created using a sticker piece, which looks really cool in there, to add that extra bit of detail as well. And at the back of the buggy also has this brick-built engine with some exhaust pieces coming off on either side, and that looks really cool as well. Another feature of the buggy is this dangling hook piece that trails along the back of the buggy. This would be a great play feature when you want to hook up your bad guys and take them away. At the back of the buggy you have this suspension piece as well as some Technic bricks and that gives the vehicle some really good mobility which is going to help with the playability of the car a lot. Then lastly on the top of the vehicle we have some stud shooters that are loaded up with three transparent blue 1x1 one one round tiles and they can be shot out by pushing this bar in like that. Which is a pretty cool feature to have on the car. So the set comes with four minifigures. They are another Airin minifigure, a Climber Cole minifigure, a Cinder minifigure, and also a Wolf Mask Claw Warrior. And then, as mentioned before, it also comes with this cute little baby Ryu. So overall, I think this is a really cool set. Just for forty-four ninety-nine, I think it's a little overpriced. It would have probably been better being thirty-nine ninety-nine, maybe a little bit less than that too. But compared to other Ninjago vehicles that Preston's built in the past, this one is really good. Set number 71817 is Lloyd's Elemental Power Mech. Comes with 253 pieces and three minifigures. It will retail for $17.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US. You know, I am no Ninjago mech expert, so... What can I already say that hasn't been said about Ninjago mechs? Nothing really. But I will say that it is a continuation to the three mechs that came out in January. Sora's Elemental Tech Mech, Cole's Elemental Earth Mech and Kai's Elemental Fire Mech. 
which you can mix and match the parts of to create your own unique mech. Sadly though I don't have the others so I'll just make do with Lloyd's one. The minifigures in this set are Lloyd, Nia and Cinder. Can we just take a second to appreciate Cinder's hair and fur scarf? Very cool. So let's take a look at the mech itself quickly. All the limbs have got these ball joints but there's no movement in the knee or the elbow. You can remove this sword from the hand using the Technic pin so you can have it with or without the swords. On the back of the mech it has these elemental elements that again are on ball joints so they can be moved around and speaking of the back I'm not really happy with all these plates just on show. That's definitely a bit of a drawback to the design of this set. And then obviously you have the space on the top for Lloyd to go in his mech which has the, the, the front that comes down as well. So that is Lloyd's elemental power mech. Moving on to another mech, we have set number 71812, which is Kai's Ninja Climber mech. It's 623 pieces, comes with four minifigures, and will retail for $59.99 in the UK and $69.99 in the US. Obviously, being Kai's fire mech, it's going to be mostly red. And I like how sturdy this mech is, actually. A lot of the time, the mechs can just fall over when they're sitting on a shelf. But this one is a very sturdy mech. It's got some really good movement in the feet thanks to this Technic pin and ball joint being allowed to go up and down in this cylinder piece. Similar to Lloyd's elemental mech, we've got the blades here in the hand on a Technic pin. On the rear of the mech we have two more arms that have these hands on the front and then also these hook pieces. And then on the right one the hook actually comes off and is attached to this rope. And this is what the mech would use to climb, hence the name Kai's Ninja Climber Mech. All of the limbs do have a lot of movement, not as smooth as the ball joints on the smaller mechs, but still it's very good to have that movement in these larger mechs. But saying that, it does have the ball joints down on the wrists, which give you some nice fluid movement. Taking a look at the minifigures now, we have Climber Kai, Climber J, Wildfire and Jordana. And Jordana comes with these buildable wings that do actually go on her back like this. Which is a nice little add-on. So that was Kai's Ninja Climbing Mech. I know a lot of people really do love their mech, so they're going to be very excited for this one. Sticking with Kai, I'm going to quickly show off this next one. It's set number 71815, and it's Kai's Source Dragon Battle. The set is 120 pieces and comes with four minifigures and it will retail for $31.99 in the UK and $37.99 in the US. Which when you say it out loud like that is a lot, especially when you're looking at what you get. So the set consists of this buildable red dragon, has some transparent red and orange wing moulds that were the same wing mould as what was on the Ryu dragon. Printed dragon headpiece with the mouth that can open up and down. That head is also on a ball joint so you're getting some play feature out of that. The legs are solid legs that connect by a pin. They are movable around as well as the tail as well. That is on a pin. But as a build, not much to go by. But this is a 4 plus set so don't forget that. Also comes with this battering ram that shoots out this projectile. And then this small little tree build, I suppose, where you trap Kai. Just like that, the branches wrap around him and he is locked in place there. I do really like this fluorescent looking rock piece though, that's really nice. And then also it comes with a couple of flame elements too, which are really good colours as well. And then we have four minifigures, so there's another wildfire. Another Climber Kai, a Wolf Mask Warrior, and a Wolf Mask Gar there on the end. He looks pretty cool with his hood on. So like I said, this is the 4 plus set for this wave. Though not the most exciting build in the world. If you didn't want to get Kai's Ninja Climber mech, this is a good way of getting Wildfire and Climber Kai in this set. Rather than forking out for the more expensive Climber mech. But still at... 
$31.99 in the UK and $37.99 in the US. This is still a pricey set to try and get those two figures. On to the two main sets of the latest Ninjago Wave now, starting with the beautiful Dragonstone Shrine set. This is set number 71819 and will retail for $104.99 in the UK and $119.99 in the US. It has 1,212 pieces and comes with six minifigures. So as you can see, the set is a brick-built dragon with a fountain coming from its mouth down into the water. I love the use of the clear studs here to make it look like the water's hitting the pond and frothing up around those fishes. It's really cool. And then you've obviously got this beautiful tree as well that's built into that dragon stone. And as you can see, it's wrapping around the back there, the roots. Honestly, really is such a beautiful set. And coming around to the other side, you can see we've got a couple of rooms here. This top one here is a little tea room that's got some great artwork on the walls. And on the other side of the room, just a small little bookcase there. The bookcase, though, is also one of the play features in the set. If you was to push this blue book in, this rock piece will fire off to reveal some hidden text that I'm sure is very important. Another play feature on the set is this movable rock that goes from side to side. Pop the minifigures on here and see which one falls off first. In this case, it's Raz. Speaking of minifigures, let's take a look at the ones that come in the set. Starting from left to right, we have Master Lloyd. Then we have Nia, Kai, Master Wu. What I think is pronounced Euphrasia with the black hair there. She also comes um, with this white hood as well. And then on the end there, Lord Raz. So some cool minifigures in this one, especially, uh, especially like Master Lloyd. And who doesn't love a good Master Wu minifigure? I know I do. So if you've been on any social media outlet over the last couple of weeks, you probably would have seen a lot of this set. But it is a really beautiful set. And I also think that it appeals to more than just Ninjago fans. It will make a great display piece on in any LEGO collection, in my opinion. Really great set overall. Me personally, I'm looking forward to getting into my Ninjago City display. I think that will look really good in there. So then last, but definitely by no means least, because this set is absolutely beautiful, is set number 71813, Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo. With 1,190 pieces, it comes with eight minifigures and will retail for $104.99 in the UK and $119.99 in the US. So here is the Shadow Mask Dojo. It consists of this main building up the top. And that's supported by, on the right side, this black tree, which looks really good. And then on the other side, it's supported by some rock work. Included in the set as well as a separate battle arena where you can have two minifigures facing off using these transparent bar pieces. Also on the battle arena is plenty of studs, so you can place down multiple minifigures down for even more play. Also really like the colour scheme of the tiles with that magenta going with the tan, really nice. The set has these small side builds that are connected with this rubber wire that you can have your minifigures sliding down just like that. The side build also has this black tree with the dark blue and magenta leaves, which is a colour theme throughout the whole set and really works well together. At the base of the tree is a chain where you can lock up one of the ninjas. And all throw from this point are these 2x2 two two round tiles with the stud that go along to continue around the back of the rock piece and that will lead you up to the main part of the building. The other side of the set there's a similar small build that's connected with this Lego zip wire but this time it's holding a weapons rack. Again we have another tree with the black magenta and dark blue. The black tree has a printed archery tile on there. Not much to talk about on the back of the supporting legs really. Obviously this one has the steps leading up to the top which I pointed out earlier. But here's the back of the main building with a couple of stations here. One with the tea, because everyone in Ninjago loves tea. And then you've got some sort of sword station here with the blue little flame. Some stickered pieces on the wall here. And then the lights here use this trans purple one by one square brick, which look really cool. And we also have this piece in the centre. I'm not sure if it's a staff or some sort of microphone for Karaoke Tuesday. 
one of the main bits that I love about this set has to be this brick built wolf head. I think it looks absolutely incredible. It's got such great detail in it. I especially like how they've done the red piercing eyes. And as well, there's this brick built boulder in the mouth that when you raise up the head, the boulder falls out. The gong on the bottom here is a printed piece, which is really nice. And another printed piece is this watching eye on the top. Really give me Lord of the Rings vibe, this one. I would have thought that there would be a lot more play features on this set. It does have a secret trapdoor that you activate by lifting up this branch here. But other than that, not too many play features in this set. Of all the sets released in this wave, this one does have the most minifigures with eight. They are Lloyd, Nia, Zane, Kai. They are the four ninjas in this set. And then the baddies, you have Cinder, Lord Raz, Jordana, and then a Wolf Claw Warrior minifigure. A good selection of minifigures in this set. A really great set that Preston did have a lot of fun building. And with him being a big Ninjago fan, he's had a lot of fun building all of his sets in the wave. Those are all the Ninjago sets coming out on March the 1st. And there are some great sets in there. A few pricey ones, but overall a very good wave of sets. Which ones did you like the best and will you be getting any when they are released? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.